New tool in the workshop. Cheap Chinese ultrasonic cleaner. So I thought, I've been after an ultrasonic cleaner for a while. I've been thinking about it, I'm in an iron about it. And I, thought, I don't need a big one. It's just to clean up the small parts when that I get from the model steam engine restorations. I thought it'd be ideal to do some of the really finicky little parts. Um, this one is a 1.3 litre, so it's quite small. I'll take the top off so you can have a look. So there you go. There's no tray or anything. There's just this bath. You just put the stuff straight in there. This one has the heater facility. So on the controls on the front here, I'll bring you down a bit. So on the front here, you've got a timer. Basically, this is just you set how long it runs for. And then here you can increase or decrease the temperature of the fluid that's in the tank. So I kind of thought that was, apparently it does help to warm the, warm the fluid up when using this. And one thing I did think was quite funny. That's, I, have to, I had a laugh. I don't know whether you can see, but this is a, like a stuck on panel with the with the controls on here, but it's not square. It, it's a lot nearer the edge, bottom edge here than it is over here. So the whole thing is skewed that way. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll dig some stuff out so we can give this a go and try it and uh, see if it was, see if it's any good. So we have some water with a little tiny bit of Windex mixed in with it as our cleaning fluid inside our ultrasonic cleaner and we're ready to give it a go. So our volunteer test piece <laughs> for the new ultrasonic cleaner is this rather fine Wilson Brothers small boiled model steam engine. Now this is one that's been on my to be restored shelf for a long time now and as you can see it's very grubby at the end there's some paint left on the flywheel it, and on the main engine uh, support here, but it's all very, very grubby. So I'm gonna strip this down and we'll put these bits into the ultrasonic cleaner and see what happens. We're also gonna turn it on. This is the turning it on for the first time. Where's the little switch gone? Right, so there we go. So it's supposed to default to five minutes and 50 on the temperature, but it's for some unknown reason has defaulted to 50.15. So apparently you can, you can take the temperature down by using these buttons and it takes it down one degree. Um, so I thought we'd take this down to something that's not too hot. I'll take a look for that and we'll leave it on the default setting for the time and see how it goes with just putting it in for five minutes. So here are our donor parts, so you can have a good look at them and see what they look like before they go into the ultrasonic cleaner. They're all fairly grubby. It would be very interesting to see whether it has any effect on the paint on the flywheel. But those are the small parts that have been taken off of the Wilson Brothers model steam engine. We'll pop them into the ultrasonic cleaner and turn it on and see what happens. So there are our parts in the cleaner. I'm going to turn the heat, heat on first. So that's the heater on. Now, obviously it's gonna take some time for the, for the fluid to warm up in there. Um, and uh, the display, I believe the display basically flashes until it comes up to temperature. But what we'll do is we'll turn on the ultrasonics cleaner itself anyway. And there we go. You can probably hear that. I'll uh, put the mic in. Right, so we'll leave that going. I'll put the lid on and we'll see what happens. So we'll come back in five minutes. Okay, five minutes later. Now, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting too much for five minutes, but already you can see, I think quite clearly, that, that the, the paint has definitely started to come off the flywheel. So it's definitely having an effect on that. And the water is warm. Yeah, I think it's already having an effect. So what we'll do is we will, um, let's try one of the brass parts. We'll put it back on. It, it turns off automatically, which is quite a nice feature. We'll, uh, we'll put it back on, but we'll put it on for, let's say 15 minutes this time and see what that does. There we go. 
So we'll come back after 15 and see what uh, see what uh, we have to see. Well, it's had a total of 20 minutes now at the temperature of 30 degrees, which is not that warm particularly. And it certainly seems to be working. I'll move the camera angle and we'll pull the bits out and we can have a closer look. So there's the parts. And that's after a total of about 20 minutes, the first five minute lot, and then another 15 minute lot. And I have to say, it's 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 doing a pretty damn good job. As you can see, the paint on the flywheel is just basically falling off, which is great. I mean, that will just come off with a rub. Look, it's just flaking off. Perfect, which is what you want. The paint on the engine frame, the engine frame has come up really well. That was really, really, that was really cruddy when it went in. And as you can see, that's cleaning up very nicely. The brass parts, yes, it's had an effect, but not particular nothing nothing absolutely astounding on the, on the on the brass bit uh, certainly taken a lot of the grease and crap off the the uh, safety valve was all credited up with um oh uh, what's the word i'm looking for scale and that and that's taken that off so yes i would have to say that uh it does work there's no doubt about it the cheap chinese ultrasonic cleaner does appear to do to do the job now I'm going to have a play around with it and I'll experiment with different temperatures. But uh, yes, I have to say that uh, overall this has actually been successful. And certainly for small parts cleaning, which is what I want it for with the model steam engines, um, seems to do the job and, and for the money I think it's um, not bad at all. Anyway, there you go, quick look at this cheap Chinese ultrasonic cleaner. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.